research team is looking at a group of compounds that are naturally occurring in fruits and vegetables called flavonoids. And we're particularly interested in one type of flavonoid called anthocyanin. We used to believe that anthocyanins acted solely as antioxidants and re by reducing inflammation in the body and scavenging free radicals. But more recently, uh, research is showing that they actually act in a myriad of other ways by increasing blood flow to the brain and uh, improving processes associated with learning and memory. Anthocyanins provide the purple and red pigmentation in fruits and vegetables. And in Queen Garnet Plum, they're specifically concentrated in the skin, but the flesh also provides a, a significantly higher amount of anthocyanins than other plum varieties. This fruit is a new version of plum, the regular plum, except it's a much darker and deeper fruit and has a very intense sweet flavour. Um, we're busy with an acute feeding study, which means um, we ask participants, both young and old, to come in on two different occasions to the clinic here at um, Emory. And the participants drink the Queen Garnet plum fruit juice. And the whole purpose of this acute study is that we want to understand better um, the uptake and the metabolism of the bioactive components that are found in this new um, plum. Um, but certainly in terms of this particular compound called anthocyanin, this fruit packs a punch. And one glass a day is probably um, going to meet or exceed the potential benefits from eating um, a diet that, that is rich in fruits and vegetables. So as a nutritionist, it's really exciting to try and understand that normal fruits and vegetables can actually have significant impact on health outcomes. And we're really excited to investigate this further in another fruit variety, which is the Queen Garnet Plum.